This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and that's the connector, USB. It has a USB, USB-C connector, and let's see if it's plugged in. Okay. With the iPhone, it's going to be an easier test to do this. I can just try to record ProRes and see if that works. Okay, so camera, video. So while this is connected now, while the T7 Shield is connected to the iPhone, I will try to enable ProRes, and ProRes is enabled. And let's see, 4K HD. So I have ProRes enabled 4K 60. Let's make ProRes 4K 120, just, just to do the test. And we can do a, like this really fast, fast swiping action. And you see that it's blinking there. So it's actually recording to the SSD directly. And it's telling me here that USB-C is connected. So the T7 shield is connected through USB-A, then a converter adapter to the iPhone. So that's nice, that worked. Okay, so let's see, let's try to play it back. Okay. okay, so this works pretty good and it's playing now from the SSD directly. And I don't need to use the storage of the iPhone for ProRes recording, I wouldn't record ProRes. I think it's too much, but I think the camera will not record anything other than ProRes to the SSD, so that's going to be a bit of a shame, I think. I don't see an option to record, like the setting, to record to SSD. But when I switch to ProRes, it will show here USB-C, so that's uh, I think that's what it is. Let me know if you can record 4K regular H.265 to SSD, but actually I can copy the files over. If I wanted to see the files on the external SSD, I would need to use a file manager app, and I open here, I could browse files on my iPhone drive, Google Drive, iCloud drive, but also there is the T7 SG. I guess that's the T7 Shield. So these are the folders on the T7 Shield. And I could try to play one of the videos. Let's, let's say this one. Current, this one. Video about